So today's video is a video on what Joel's working on. You remember Joel, my co-op student that you guys met in a previous video. And what have you been working on there, Joel? I've been taking motors off snowblower and this one seemed to be jammed, so we took it off the blower and we started taking it apart and we found a screw that went into the uh, cylinder. And that's it right here. Do you mind showing us how that came about? Um, the screw came out of the carb. So this is the carb that the screw came out of. That's the throttle butterfly that we found in the intake. The throttle butterfly is supposed to be in there and it came up here. Uh, we found the throttle butterfly in here. And I have a carb here that has the proper butterfly in it. So what Joel's showing us here is that basically that little screw came off, went in the engine, and the butterfly came off and got trapped near the valve. So do you have any tips in case you ever remove these screws, Joel? Um, I know that you have to put a brand new screw in it and a little bit of Loctite for reinsurance. Here's what happened to the engine and Joel's going to explain to us what the mark here is. So the screw entered this valve and it jammed in the top of the cylinder head in the cylinder causing it to seize. I even got Joel to take off the cover here right away because I assumed there was a broken rod which I often see on Tecumseh engines but it turned out just to be that. Some of you guys may be wondering, well, would it run if you removed the screw? Well, the answer is yes. Obviously, you'd have to put a new head gasket, clean it off, clean the carbon too while you have it apart, remove the screw, clean all this carbon, put back the cover here, and that engine should be good to go. It's rare that I see an engine where the screw from the carb came in like that and caused this kind of damage. It's not as bad as a broken rod, obviously, but it can be misleading in that you think the engine is seized. So probably now what I'll end up doing is putting the engine back together and hope for the best. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe to Donnie Boy 73s channel. Thanks. Bye.